The Free Gliding Ski Fee Screw System by Pega Medical. A revolution in the treatment of ski fee. A self extending two part cannulated screw that will elongate with growth. Specifications available in 6.5 and 7.3 millimeter diameter. Length ranging from 48 to 102 millimeters. Advantages proximal and distal threaded fixation for stability. No compression or premature physial closure. Allows for neck growth and physiological remodeling. Trilobe design creates rotational stability. No need for protruding screw placement. Pre-op plan. Select the screw diameter based on the femoral neck diameter. The implant's placement should be centered with respect to the epiphysis and three millimeters short of the subchondral bone to avoid insertion into the joint. Step one, entry point. The entry point should be anterolateral and at or above the level of the lesser trochanter. Step two, insertion of the guide wire. Under image intensification, insert the guide wire corresponding to the selected screw size through the tissue protector and the guide wire sleeve into the epiphysis. For accurate measurement, the tip of the guide wire sleeve should be in contact with the cortex. Step three, measurement of the screw length. Insert the depth gauge into the guide wire sleeve and read the length measurement at the end of the guide wire to obtain the screw length. Here is an overview of the screw selection guide. The Skifi system is divided into two diameters, 6.5 in blue and 7.3 in green. Screw lengths ranging from 48 to 58 millimeters are considered mini, while lengths ranging from 60 to 102 millimeters are standard. Make sure not to mix mini male components with the standard male components. The final screw length is obtained by combining the correct male, S or L, for the standard screw family, and MS or ML for the mini screw family with the adequate female component. Step four, reaming. Using the reamer corresponding to the desired screw size, ream up to, but not through, the growth plate. Step five, screw insertion. Using the adequate driver, turn the locking knob until the male component is fully engaged onto the driver. There should be no space between the screw head and the driver when properly assembled. To complete the screw assembly, simply slide the female component onto the male component. The assembled screw is inserted into the reamed canal over the guide wire as would be a standard one-piece screw. This action simultaneously engages the thread of the female into the epiphysis of the femoral head and the thread of the male into the lateral cortex. Take care not to let the male distract from the female during insertion. To assure continued normal growth, the entire threaded portion of the female component must be past the growth plate and within the epiphysis in both the AP and lateral views. Step six, cap insertion. Using the cannulated cap driver, insert the appropriate cap into the male component. Drive the cap until it is fully engaged within the male component. Screw removal, guide wire insertion. Under C-arm visualization, insert the guide wire through the implant's cannulation. Cap removal. Use the cap driver to remove the cap. Male component removal. Engage the driver into the male component by turning the locking knob clockwise. Remove the male component via a counterclockwise rotation of the handle. Female component removal. Engage the female retriever corresponding to the implant size into the female component using a counterclockwise rotation. Rotate while applying traction to remove the implant component. Disclaimer, this video is not intended to be a substitute to the surgical technique.